the real reason why LA Knight is struggling in WWE. Um, I'm explaining this and get straight to the nitty gritty. It's very simple, bro. The WWE does not like no one, and I repeat, they do not like no one getting over without their machine or their permission. It's that simple. LA Knight is one of those case scenarios that happen every few years in the WWE where somebody is organically over out of thin air. Just poof. He's just over out of nowhere. Right? He got over with the Bray Wyatt shit, but he's like really, really over now. Right? They don't like that. Because the point, the basically the whole thing is this. If they wanted to push LA Knight, they would have pushed him on his debut. He has every tool that WWE usually looks for in a guy. He has size. He has a look. He can talk. He's charismatic. He's good to decent in the ring. There's literally nothing wrong with LA Knight. Besides one major problem, it's his age. That's another major problem. Not only they don't want to push him, but his age, I'm sure, has a lot to do with it as well. And for anybody that think, well, why has his age got anything to do with it if they push certain people that's older? You got to think about the certain people they push that's older. If you talk, if you bring up AJ Styles, AJ Styles is already a legend before he even came to WWE. That's totally different. You know what I'm saying? It is not the same at all. So you got to look at this, bro. It, it, this goes back. This this been happening, though. We, when you will get organically over, I'm going to tell you why the WWE don't like that. And, they, and they're going to put you through some bullshit. Just because they really trying to test. Okay, they like, all right, if you are so over, that means nothing we do to you should kill your momentum. That's all they're doing to LA Knight. Why do you think he lost that four-way when everybody wants him to win? Because they trying to see, okay, if you're so over, can you survive all these bullets and daggers and stabbings? Can you do it? Are you that bulletproof? Are you completely invulnerable? To all this. Your momentum just can't be stopped. That's what they're trying to wait and see. But in LA Knight's case. It could be that. But it also could be this. Like I said earlier. They don't like nobody getting organically over. Why? Because it fucks up the plans they already had. Hence why LA Knight hardly ever wins. He's not part of the plan. So he's fucking up the plans. They didn't have him in none of these plans. Why do you think he's always losing? He The last match I seen him win was Rey Mysterio. And I was shocked when he won that. Honestly, I was shocked. Like, wow, he beat Rey? But that was just like a little thing. It was like, all right, he is getting over. Fine. You can get a win over a, a legend like Rey Mysterio. Fine. Even though... Weeks before that, he just kept losing. He lost Santos Escobar. And I think when they had all the money in the bank, he was constantly losing most of these matches that I remember. I could be wrong. But the point I'm saying is LA Knight is interrupting the plans that they originally already had. And LA Knight's a part, not a part of those plans. Now, with the crowd forcing him, they're changing. They're changing some of their plans. By little bits and pieces. So they're like, fine. Y'all like this guy? Okay, let's put him in a four-way. We're not going to have him get pinned. But let's put him in a four-way. People hyped about him. But let's see if people still care about him with him losing. With him not getting an opportunity. This is what WWE do. They do this to everyone. LA Knight is just another guy that's going through it. They do this to every fucking body, bro. Now, if LA Knight was already a name on the indie circuit before he came, he would have to still go through the storm. Everybody goes through it. How legendary AJ Styles already was before he came there, they put him through it. You're going to lose to Jericho on your WrestleMania debut. First time we ever had AJ at a WrestleMania, you're going to lose it. Because they wanted to see, okay, will people still care? And they did. 
So they was like, fine, fuck it. Let's just push the guy. They liked AJ. They wanted AJ anyway. It's different with AJ, bro. If LA Knight had an AJ resume, it would be totally different right now. But he don't. And like I said, he's interrupting the original plans. That's why they're about to make him go through some bullshit just to test. Can he make it out of this mud puddle? We're going to put you through the mud. Can you make it out of this mud puddle? We're going to make the mud a little deeper by having you lose. You're going to lose this opportunity. You're going to lose this opportunity. We're going to have you keep going through some bullshit. But the major test, can he survive it? And what? And if he can, Duddy's going to do two things. They're either going to reward him, give him a bone, or bury him. And I know, right, let me explain what rewarding. Rewarding and a bone is almost the same. Except a bone is how Zack Ryder was really, really over at one point in time. Super over. They gave him a bone for still being over years later by letting him to win Intercontinental title at WrestleMania. Giving him a moment. Okay, people still like you as we see. We're going to give you that. That was a bone. And the reason why it was a bone instead of a reward because he did not have no memorable Intercontinental Championship run. That's why it was a bone. Now, a reward is what CM Punk got. Regardless of what CM Punk say about the WWE, he got rewarded for staying over, for being over. He was already getting rewarded by being world champion at the time before the pipe bomb. But his pinnacle of his height, of his fame, came from that pipe bomb. Everybody knows this, right? Boom. He got rewarded later by being WWE champion for 434 days. That's a reward. Regardless of what he say or any of his fans say, that's a reward. That wasn't a bone. He has a very memorable title run. He's one of the longest still in the top 20 or some shit like that. That's a reward. Now, burying him, that's a very well could be. That that very well can be a case scenario of burying L.A. Knight. That very well can happen by simply just never giving him an opportunity to get a championship, to get a big win, to get a big match under his belt by just completely ignoring the fans, completely just keeping him leveled, doing everything to kill his momentum and steam. So we just going to have to wait and see. So that's why LA Knight is struggling in, in the WWE. 